without them. We'll have to do that in Game 3. Okay, good. We're going to jump to that other Atlantic Division matchup right now, Moncton and Fredericton. This is the first time Moncton and Fredericton have met in the Calder Cup playoffs, and it's another big series. Fredericton picked by a lot of teams to win the Calder Cup. Moncton cited by a lot of teams, including St. John's coach Mark Crawford, as the most talented team in the American Hockey League. So this is going to be another tough series. We go to Game 1 in Fredericton. We'll pick it up in the second period, Gord. The Canadians leading this one, one nothing, and the bodies have been flying in this thing all night. The Hawks can't get the puck out here. Jesse Belanger with a monster shot. He beats Mike O'Neill for a two nothing Habs lead. Face off in the Fredericton end. Luke Gauthier up ice to Ed Ronan. He dumps it in front. Hello, John Ferguson. He pulls the lever, and the Canadians lead three nothing. Moncton on the power play. Tyler Larder to Darren Beach. It's back to Larder. He unloads a rocket past John Shabbat, and the Hawks are finally on the board. Fredericton playing here with a man advantage. The Canadians setting up their power play unit. Sean Hill with the cannon, and a big save by O'Neill. Jump to the third period. It's just underway, and the Hawks are trying to get back into this game. Kent Painter points the way. It's 3-2. to two. Now, here's a crucial play. Fredericton's number 32, Patrick LeBeau, clips Eakins in the face. But he only gets four minutes, a double minor, instead of an ejection from the game. That's a big break for the Canadians, and you're going to see why later on in the game. A crowded house for Shabbat on this third-period Moncton power play. But he stones the Hawks. Now, a year ago, in the playoffs, O'Neill went out with an injury, and the Hawks followed pretty quickly. Jesse Belanger crashes the cage. O'Neill goes down. He could be in for a bad break here, but O'Neill is going to be all right. And to prove it, he comes up with this save on John Ferguson. Four and a half minutes to go in regulation time. Moncton breaks out. They lose the puck, steal it back, and Stu Barnes makes it a 3-3 game, and we're headed for sudden death. First goal in OT wins this thing. Jesse Belanger sets up LeBeau and a monster save by O'Neill. We're into double overtime now. That's LeBeau again. Around the cage. We've got a scramble out in front. LeBeau ducks back in. And there's the winner. 4-3 Fredericton. Now remember that high sticking call earlier in the third period. Well, LeBeau could have been sitting in the dressing room. Instead, he's on the ice celebrating this win. And a tough, tough break for Mike O'Neill. 52 saves, 19 in the first overtime, but a 1-0 series lead for the Canadians. Julian, Let's head to Moncton for game two. The Hawks are trying to even this series. First period, no score. Let's hear from Gare Maxwell. There's a shot right on. And oh, Shabbat has it just on the goal line. Now LeBlanc on the off wing. LeBlanc, and here's... A fight developing between Poshek and Robert, a couple of heavyweights. They're dropping the gloves and going at it. And Rudy Poshek connecting with a couple of rights, and he belts Robert to the ice. Not much doubt about this one as Rudy Poshek scores a clear cut victory over Mario Roberge in a standing ovation here at the Moncton Coliseum. Hawks knock it back out to center. Here's Duncanson on the puck. Duncanson going in on goal. Duncanson puts on the brakes. Feeds it right in front. Here it is for Barnes, a shot. Barnes gets it again. Scores! Stu Barnes! And Moncton takes a 1-0 lead. Indians go in after it, but the Hawks... LeBlanc got it ahead, and here's Barnes. Oh, what a beautiful pass for Duncanson. Oh, what a great save. Shabbat, it goes into the net. No goal. The goal's been waved off by referee Lance Roberts. Canadians applying some pressure. There's a shot. Stopped by O'Neill. Veach gets it ahead for Duncanson, and here's Barnes one-on-one. -on -one. Barnes for LeBlanc. Scores! And the Hawks! Lead it by a score of two to nothing. Frederick Shabbat is going to try and get to the bench for an extra attacker. Now the Hawks right in front, blocked by Eakins, 
as LeClaire picked up a gift. There's a shot. O'Neill goes down to make the save. O'Neill with the save. The Hawks win 3 0 to square the series at one. And we asked Stu Barnes of the Hawks if Mike O'Neill is stealing this series from Frederick. It's, uh, it's pretty close. Uh, Shabbat played a real good game last night. But I mean, as far as uh, our team, I think O'Neill's really been carrying the load this year. And, and uh, especially now since playoffs have started, he's really, he's really uh, come into his own and, and uh, been playing very, very well for us. I think we're certainly underdogs. Um, Fredericton, as you say, dominated us uh, in their building all year, and uh, they finished uh, first overall. We had to fight for a playoff spot. So uh, I think we're definitely underdogs, but uh, we've proven in the last two nights that uh, we're not uh, going to be an easy opponent. Fredericton and Moncton, we've got a 1-1 series tie between these two teams, but the key here has been some outstanding goaltending, Gord. Goaltending in the playoffs is a real key, and Mike O'Neill of Moncton, probably the forgotten guy for a while because this season he started in the IHL, but played great last year in the playoffs, playing great again for Moncton. And we talk about goaltending, we go to a big series, Rochester and Hurt.